I am Anil Kumar and now in this video we are going to apply both the double angle formulas which you have learned sin 2a and cos 2a to derive a formula for sin 3 theta. I know I asked this question earlier but you should know formulas for cos 2a and sin 2a to get this solution right. Let us see how to do it. Now sin 3 theta could be written as sin 2 theta plus theta right so which using compound angle formula we can write as sin 2 theta cos theta plus cos 2 theta sin theta right now we know what sin 2 theta is let me start from here now sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta and then we have cos theta let me write it as such plus cos 2 theta now for cos 2 theta you could write cos square theta minus sin square theta you could also write 1 minus 2 sin square theta or you could also write 2 cos square theta minus 1 either way uh, you get the similar solution okay so uh, whatever you want you could do at this moment right so let me write down here as cos square theta minus sin square theta to begin with right and then we have sin theta here so we have options at this stage okay so when we combine this we get 2 sin theta cos square theta and here we can expand so we get cos square theta sin theta minus sin cube theta now 2 sin theta cos square theta plus cos square theta sin theta gives you 3 sin theta cos cube theta, right? And here we get minus sin cube theta, right? So that is the formula for sin 3 theta. So we get sin 3 theta equals to 3 sin theta cos cube theta minus sin cube theta. So that's how we can do it. Now my recommendation is that in this particular derivation we used cos 2 theta as cos square theta minus sin square theta, right? Now instead of that if you use the formula 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square theta then what result do you get? So I like you to replace this with these two, solve, simplify and try to get your answer. That I think will be a good and interesting exercise. Thank you and all the best.